Hi guys and welcome to a walkthrough of a two bed, two bath Sabina Villa here on Latori Golf Resort. Right bang in the town centre this is. Um, sorry about the noise, you've got some gardeners here at the moment. So um, yeah, just pick the, the ideal time for me to uh, have to do this. But um, yeah, we're running around from Pillars Post at the moment. Um, so two bed, two bath Sabina, off street parking there. We're obviously gonna have a walk around the actual villa in a moment. Location, brilliant. You've got the, the roundabout here and literally the other side of that roundabout is the supermarket, uh, the, sorry, the town centre. So you're right bang in the middle of the town centre here. Um, just literally the other side of that roundabout, straight down, and that's where all your bars, your restaurants are, our office, of course. But that's where all your kind of facilities are. And just around to the left there is the large supermarket. So you're literally within a minute or two walk of everything here. Let's have a little walk around and see what you think. Now this one is a bit of a funny one because it's got a long-term tenant in here at the moment. Pictures have been done, the virtual tour has been done, but just bear in mind it's not gonna look show house because there's someone physically living in it. Okay, so we've done the best we can uh, with, what, with what we've got to work with, but this is gonna be a big problem now. Uh, coming into summer, the reason our office always shuts for at least a couple of weeks in August is because you physically can't access anything. It's either being rented out or owners are using it. So this one is a long-term rental. Um, they have, uh, I believe, got an agreement with the owner as soon as it sells, then they do have to leave. Um, so let's have a walk around. This is coming on at 165,000 euros, guys, 165. Community fee on this one, 161 euros. Remember, the community fee on Latori includes your fiber optic broadband straight into your property. It includes TV, international TV stations, and it includes an internal phone line. So, like I said, just bear in mind there's gonna be a lot of furniture, a lot of stuff here because someone's physically living here, so there's not much we can do about that. We can't get them to move it all out. But obviously, the deal is, as soon as it sells, the guys that are renting here will be going, okay? So, as always with Sabina's, you come through the front door and you walk into this nice kind of porch area. It's the only villa that you actually don't walk straight into kind of a lounge or something. You know, you walk into this ni nice kind of big kind of porch area with nice big double doors leading into the lounge as well. And then this way is basically all of the other rooms to your right as you walk in. So let's start on the right, actually. So this lovely little kind of flamingo dress apron hanging on the door. This is the kitchen. So again, all kitchens in Sabina's are the same, basically. They're a nice size, they're workable. Um, you can see worktop areas here, worktop areas over here. Um, you've got your cooker, your oven, your hob, and your hood in. Okay, that looks like it's had better days, so I think you're probably gonna change the, the oven at least. Um, fridge freezer over here, dishwasher over here, and of course, as with all Sabinas, you've got a separate utility. Okay, so let me just open this. Move this bin out of the way. So separate utility, which is where your washing machine is and where your boiler is. And of course, any other kind of junk you want to put out here. And of course, you've got a, a door leading directly out to the side of the house. I don't know anyone that actually uses these, but in summer, it's quite nice, of course, because you can open it up and just let a breeze through, especially if you're cooking and stuff in here. So yeah, as is, it's the same as, as all of the other Sabina Villas. Of course, the layout is, all you're really looking for here is location, which we know is Bangtown Center. Um, and yes, like I said, you just got to uh, kind of bear in mind someone's actually living here, so we can't, you know, we can't get it as kind of show housey looking as we'd like. Right, out of the kitchen, turn right. So you've got the hallway area, which leads to bedroom, bathroom, and the master just to the right. So let's start at the master. So you turn right, walking in, so you can, then you have like a hallway area leading down to the double, okay? They've got a lot of junk behind here, so I won't bother with that. So straight into the, the ensuite first. So you've got a shower cubicle here, so completely closed in. You've got the original sink and fittings here, but actually in very, very good condition. And you've got the toilet and bidet here, and of course the only important window, which everyone likes to have in the bathrooms. You've got a little heater above the door, which, uh, which some people like. Just means that you can put the heating on in here um, without putting the whole gas central heating system on because of course you do have the radiator slash towel heater here but that's connected to the to the gas central heating which means you'd have to put it all on. Um, so a lot of people choose to just put a little heater like that in there. So coming out into the master. So yeah, nice big room. See the tea, the bed, the bed. Yeah, it's a storage, so it's a double, uh, double storage. inbuilt wardrobes over here, and the all-important AC unit up here. 
Now, I have noticed a bit of discoloration on the wall, so I will actually ask the owner about that. Um, it doesn't feel wet or anything like that, so it may have been an old thing, but I will ask about that just to double check. But yeah, other than that, all good. Like I say, it's very hard to do it when people are here because obviously, you know, they've got stuff everywhere and things like that, so it's very difficult. So you've just got to kind of blank that out. You know the layout of the villa, you know the location, everything else really is semantics. Right, into the second bathroom, and this is the kind of family bathroom, and the Sabinas do have lovely big bathrooms. Um, the ensuite is actually a good size as well, but this one is really nice and big. So again, toilet over here, BD over here, sink, mirror, and you've got a full-size bath to the right with, as you can see, a glass screen on there. So yeah, all original fittings, but all in good condition. Got a little vent up there as well to let the steam out. Yeah, all good. Out the bathroom, into the master, as regarded as the master. Slightly, slightly bigger. Not much in it, but slightly. Actually, I'm talking rubbish. That was the master. Sorry, I'm talking rubbish, see? I've been actually, heat out here at the moment is 36 degrees. It's obviously getting to my head. So sorry, we've just come out of the master. This is bedroom two. What I am saying is the master is slightly bigger than this bedroom, okay? So this is bedroom two. So as you can see, it's not being used as such as a bedroom. There is a single bed there, and you can see the actual bits that go either side of the bed usually, but they're obviously using it as a couch area because this is quite obviously an office that the guys that are renting here is using it for. And then this, of course, just looks straight out into the garden, as, does, as it does in the master as well. Just looks straight to the garden. AC unit up here as well. So it does have full AC throughout, and of course you've got the essential heating throughout as well. Okay, let's head to the lounge. So again, like I say, these clothes, so these are nice big double doors either side here. And then into the actual lounge itself. It's all kind of been laid out that suits the people that are here. It's of course what you usually see is the dining area over here by these kind of bay windows. Dining area usually here, as you can see, they've thrown a couch in there, with the table they've put there, couch over there. But you've got space, you know, you've got space to play about with it. A lot of people, of course, love these little windows at the top. It always means these villas are nice and bright, you know, regardless of orientation or anything, they're always nice and bright in this room. Again, you've got the AC unit up there. That is the original. So you always got to bear in mind, the originals are about 15 years old. So if you're using it as a holiday home, kind of, or anything that's certainly to start with, then it's not stressful at all, it's not a problem. But if you were using it more and more, you'd want to get these changed because of course the older units are much more expensive to run. Love the turntable. I actually just got one of these for Christmas. Kind of coming back in fashion, aren't they? But yeah, lovely, lovely lounge, you know? What can I say? I like Sabina's. You see a lot of the, a lot can be done with these villas. You see a lot that actually put up a mezzanine level and put another bedroom there. Um, you can actually add a bedroom for, to the top floor as well where the solarium is. You can, you can actually do quite a few bits with the Sabinas, um, but you can certainly make them into threes without any issues. Okay, garden, let's have a look. So again, coming off the lounge, you come into this nice big square terrace. Okay, with the pergola on the top. You can see these guys have covered the pergola as well. Yeah, and just nice outside area, nice big kind of LED lamp over there, table chairs, and then into the garden itself, which of course on Latoria is all lawns. You don't touch it, the gardeners do everything, okay? They do your hedges, they do the lawn, it's actually all pre um, plump, it's all pre, what's the word for it, underneath that there's all piping basically to, to ensure that the grass gets enough um, water. Um, around about two, three in the morning. If you're not prepared, you've got to be careful because you know, things jump out the ground and basically water all the grass, but they've also got piping underneath. Just keeps the grass in good condition because of course the climate here is, is very hot, very dry. Um, 36 degrees here today, so yeah, very, very warm. Lovely sized garden, you know, it's all lawns. Um, of course, a lot of people do put pools in these gardens. Um, if you're going to do that again, you can do it. Uh, six by three meters is what most people are put in. You can play about with the sizes, seven by three. You can do other little bits and pieces as well if you want. But six by three always fits in really nice here. You can see that's the master bedroom and the second bedroom just there. And again, a lot of people will change these windows for doors. Just means you can come directly out into the garden from the actual bedrooms. But again, these are little things that you can do once you own it. Like I said, there's not much we can do about little bits and pieces lying around all over the place, um, but the lady has cleared up the best she can just to make sure we can get around so people can see exactly what it is. But yeah, all very nice. Now, orientations. 
this is pretty much directly north so north east south directly behind us west okay now most people will think oh north facing means it's not going to get any sun right this is three o'clock in the afternoon and as you can see it's completely covered in sun now orientations matter if you've got a small apartment balcony that is always going to make a massive difference um, if you've got a garden like this with all low-lying villas around it with no nothing blocking any sun then it really for eight months of the year it ain't going to make a difference for eight months of the year you're going to have the sun in this garden pretty much regardless of the orientation as you can see the sun is almost directly above my head now in winter yes you will get a little bit less for about four months of the year you're, it's going to drop the sun drops a lot lower so you're still going to get it till at least around one o'clock but then you'll probably lose it of course these have solariums as well upstairs don't forget but for literally seven to eight months a year the sun is so high in the sky it really is not going to make a difference and as you can see this is late afternoon and it's it's roasting in sun now right there is one thing left to see guys which is the solarium upstairs now again just remember that, that someone is here so it's all a bit messy going up the stairs i've been up here of course to do the pictures and the virtual tours and stuff like that already so i'll just jump over a few bits here because they've just stacked a few things out here, I think, that were in the house and they got them out so that we could do a few pictures inside. And up to this huge solarium. So you've got water up here, you've got electric up here. Um, a lot of people, of course, put hot tubs. I actually watched one being put on one of the roofs today. Of course, it's a solarium, right? So it doesn't matter when, what time of the year it is, it's always going to be soaked in sun. As you can see, everything looks a bit worse for wear up here. Um, so obviously no furniture up here. You'd have to get all new furniture for up here. I'm not too sure what that's doing here. It's probably a very old one. It probably needs to go. Um, your exterior units, of course, for your AC are up here. And they look relatively new. So they're the two bedroom ones. Um, and then your original one over here, which is your lounge one, which again, looks in very good condition anyway. So you certainly don't have to change any of the AC units. But yeah, nice big, nice big terrace as they all have. Okay, guys, don't need to tell you. Um, the actual availability of things like this are just nearly zero now. Um, I think it was about 10 days ago, we actually had around two hours of the day where every single property in Lotari had been sold. We didn't have one property available. Um, we have got a couple of bits coming on now, thankfully, um, so that we do have a couple of bits. Um, this is the only Sabina we have. Um, this will be listed later today. I know we do have a couple of clients actually waiting for this to, to come on. Um, but listen, the big thing with this villa is the location if you're looking for town center if you're looking to walk to the supermarket to the bars the restaurants um, then this is a fantastic location it really doesn't get any better any questions as always you can email me on inquiries at polariswild.org.uk you can always reach us um, if you're viewing from the uk 0208 090 3631 or if you're here in spain already our office number is 968 032 042 as I said, this is coming on at 165. Community fees on this, 161 euros per month. Any questions that you've got other than that's not covered in this, guys, just let me know. Um, but like I keep saying, don't wait too long. They are moving very, very quickly, especially now because the availability is next to nothing. Um, so if you've got any questions at all um, and something like this does interest you, let us know.